During the last week, it rained just about non-stop in our part of Pretoria, about 300 millimeters in total. Something as drastic as this does not happen often, but have you ever considered the sheer volume of water that falls down to earth when it rains? Let's visualize it and show a few calculations and comparisons to make it concrete. We start with a cube of 1 meter by 1 meter by 1 meter, or 1 cubic meter. Such a cube is equivalent to a thousand liters of water, which weighs a thousand kilograms, or one ton. The cube's ground area is one meter by one meter, or one meter squared. If one millimeter of rain falls on that area, it is equivalent to one liter of water being spread out over the area. This does not sound like a lot, but let's consider a typical plot of land. We work with a thousand square meters to keep the calculations simple. Since for 1 mm, 1 litre of rain was spread out over 1 square metre, the entire 1000 square metre plot requires 1000 litres of water spread out 1 mm deep. This is already 1 tonne of water for each plot of this size. If 300 mm of rain fell, it equates to 300 tonnes of water per plot. Let's say 5 people stay on this plot. If each of them drinks 2 litres of water every day, it would take longer than 82 years for them to drink all of this water. Now, think about how many plots worth of area received this amount of rain in the last week. Mm -hmm.